previously I made a video on how to make KD look like Windows and in today's video I will demonstrate how KD can look like a Mac so before we begin um, just like in the previous video uh, you will need to install something um, but this time you'll need to install less stuff from the internet so uh, I right, right here have the image one of the wallpapers uh, one of the default wallpapers uh, so you don't have to download this one this one's optional um, but just for the sake of the video I will be downloading that uh, but the second thing that you should download is this Apple icon which will appear down here in the panel so go ahead and save this image uh, and keep in mind um, I do recommend that once you download these two images what I recommend is that you put them in a folder uh, which you will not delete because if you do delete for example the Apple logo uh, then the and you have it on your panel for example then it's going to be deleted and you know uh, it might glitch out so let's just do the easiest part here and let's um, adjust the wallpaper just get that part set up okay so we're one step closer um, let's also actually never mind so we'll be focusing on the panel um, but before we do that the first thing I want you to do is go to system settings uh, so what we want to ensure for now is that the blur effect is enabled so uh, this works with KD the latest version of KDE Plasma uh, so make sure you have that so go to desktop behavior and then desktop effects uh, and then right here make sure blur is enabled uh, so you can adjust the settings if you'd like uh, and if you don't see if you, your panel or your right click aren't blurry then make sure to toggle it off and then back on and that should fix the problem uh, as you can see uh, the panel is blurry now another thing that you want to do is go to application style uh, and then click configure and then transparency and make sure that's transparent I like it usually at this extent and there we go it's transparent and it's blurry so this uh, kinda gives the same look uh, that a Mac would otherwise give for the application style uh, and so now we will be focusing on the panel so go to workspace theme okay go to workspace theme and then desktop theme uh, and type or click on get new themes and now type in Mac so you should get this as your first result the Mac breeze shadowless theme just make sure to install that um, and now what we can do is we can right click on the desktop and click add panel and then application menu bar so the reason why we want this is because when we open up file or n not files but uh, applications and windows we get these settings right here uh, and so now you can go ahead and apply this theme and this panel right here at the bottom is unnecessary so you can go to settings and then remove the panel so now we simply have the panel at the top and we can make sure that these uh, are right here if these don't appear then remove this panel and try again um, and I'm going to remove this toolbox real quick right here at the top so that it's not distracting okay so now what you want to do is go to setting or right click on it and add widgets um, so we'll be adding the menu back so just double click on that and then you can move them around freely uh, system tray uh, search and the last thing is time we'll add the digital clock okay so as you can see it's all everything's all over the place it's leaning towards the left so we can click on the settings and we can add a spacer the reason why we want a spacer is because if we don't add it then every time you restart the computer your icons will appear to the left and that's not what you want so um, you can go ahead and line everything up the way it should be 
Uh, and so far it looks very similar. Um, I can remove Pac-Man here, or not Pac-Man, Octopi. Uh, and honestly, if you want to adjust the system tray, you can go ahead to whatever extent you personally feel like. You have the settings right here. Uh, once you right click on this arrow and click system tray settings, uh, but I'll just leave it like this. Uh, and the reason why we downloaded the Apple icon is for the menu. So you can right click on that, click configure application menu, and then click on the icon here. And so now you can choose uh, an icon that you have on your computer. So uh, we can choose the Apple icon and there we go. So now we pretty much have the panel looking the way it should. So next up, we'll choose the cursor theme and I already have it installed. Uh, it's this one. Uh, so you can go ahead and install that or if your system has it, just apply it and we'll have it like this. Uh, and if the cursor is small on the video, it's because the uh, recording resolution does not match my uh, monitor resolution, so that's why. So next up, we can click on icons and then click get new themes. So type in Mac and you'll see that there are a lot of options here. Uh, the one that I tend to go with and uh, think is best is... Let's see here, it should be somewhere here. Um, there we go, it's this one. So you can install which one you personally like, uh, but I think that this one's pretty accurate. Uh, and then you can go ahead and apply that. Uh, so some of the icons uh, will disappear, so I suggest you close all the windows and reopen the settings. Um, so that the icons load up and so now we have the icons for the mouse for the actual icons we have the panel wallpaper next up what we're missing is the title bar so you can go to application style and then window decorations and uh, get new decorations and again type in Mac and the one you have two options here but the one that's better is this one flat OS X so let's install that and apply but what you'll notice is that the buttons are on the right instead of the left so let's go ahead and go to buttons and let's adjust everything so it might be a hassle initially um, but it might take some time but once you adjust everything, you should get the buttons to be on the left side as opposed to the right. So everything looks good, right? Well, we're missing one thing. We're missing the dock. So let's go ahead and open up the terminal. And also, if you want to adjust the terminal as well, you can right click, edit current profile, appearance. I'll just go with this, this black and white theme. Go to edit again, blur background, and let's make it transparent. So now we have it like this. So if you're using Arch Linux, I'm using Manjaro. Uh, the command that you want to type is sudo pacman dash capital S and then latte. Um, but if you're using something else, um, then you can for sure install it through the software. Uh, the software center or the package manager uh, or the terminal itself so once you have that let's um well i can't really see what i'm typing here well that didn't really work so let's just go to octopi again i can't really see anything <laughs> install I just install that it takes like five seconds okay there we go latte unbelievable I've been typing K instead of L wow I need to get my eyes checked that's crazy so this should start up every time you start up the computer so you don't have to worry about that 
Um, so you can keep it by default as is. I mean, it's good enough. But the way I like it is uh, I right click on it, go to layouts and click plasma. So right now you'll see that it looks like a panel. So let's fix that. So doc slash panel settings. And then let's remove the system tray. And let's put these spacers, kind of line them up at the edges. Also, let's make it always visible. And instead of justified, let's do center. So now we have it looking pretty nice. Um, if you want to adjust it more, you have the options. You can go to the appearance tab, click advanced, and then you can adjust the panel size. Uh, if you want some zoom effects, you can do that. If you want the icons to be more spread apart, you can do that as well. So you can kind of play around with that, but I think that this looks good. So now when we maximize it, it's going to still have this at the bottom. Um, and as you can see, we have the options here as well. Um, so honestly, this was pretty much it. I mean, if you want to add, let's say, an application, like VLC for example, um, you can open up the application and then right click on the icon and click pin so now it can stay uh, in the dock itself. Um, the only thing that I would recommend, so if you think that this has been good enough you could just exit the video but if you want to see the extra part that I think is worth mentioning uh, that is that in terms of browsers I think that it's worth using the Falcon browser. Uh, so again, because I'm using Arch, these will be the commands, sudo pacman dash capital S and then Falcon with a K. And you'll most likely be able to just simply install it from the software center. But this will just take just a couple seconds. Um, and so the reason why I think that this browser is worth using is because in comparison to the other browsers, uh, well this one is made for KDE, uh, so it works very well with the desktop environment, uh, and it works very well with the panel. Um, so I think that Firefox works probably just as fine, um, but I've tried other browsers and I think that this one works the best, uh, and so the settings work, um, like everything works just as you would like. Um, I think that it just, the browser integration, everything, it just works the best with this browser. Um, and again, it's mainly for this uh, bar right here, settings bar, uh, that's at the top of the panel. And another thing is if you want to kind of save up some vertical space so that you have some more space, you can go to, you can right click the title bar, more actions, and then no border. And if you, you can see first if you like this, if you like it the way it is, um, you can actually um, toggle it so that it's like this every time. So if you do control Q, you could just quit it really quickly. Um, and if you want the settings to be saved, then you can just go back to more actions. And then I think it was special window settings. Um, and then I think you you click on node title bar and frame and then you force and then click OK um, and it should work so that was pretty much it um, if you want you can also uh, if you go to settings and if you go back to desktop behavior and desktop effects uh, there's some good effects here uh, which you can um, toggle so that when you minimize the window or when you maximize the window or when you close the window or drag it you will see like some special fancy animations if you want you can toggle that as well so that was pretty much it uh, if you have any questions or just any general comment then leave it in the comment section uh, and I'll for sure answer and um, yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, also, let me know if you think that this was a pretty good mimic uh, of the Mac setup uh, or the Mac style. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.